I used to have a high opinion of myself, and then God humbled me. Five years ago, I had to decide to be obedient to God or keep my mouth shut and look the other way. So to be obedient, I committed political suicide. But by doing so, it drew me closer to God. I come from a small town where everyone knew everyone and were related to somebody. I lived there for 60 years and was also employed by the same city for 32 years. This is where I raised my children and grandchildren. Everything changed in September 2017 when I felt compelled to come forward and ask that three council members resign their council positions for what I knew to be the cover-up of corruption. This led me to being fired from my finance director position and recalled from my elected city clerk position. What I wasn't prepared for was a backlash, hatred, and being ostracized by my community. My anxiety levels were off the charts, and I suffered from extreme depression. Except for my family and very few friends and most of my church family, I was very hated and alone. This is where God showed me grace and love and comfort. I had a favorite trifolium gate that I would walk to in the mornings where I would sit, cry, talk, and pray to God for hours. My son lived in Yuma, and he started encouraging me to also move to Yuma. So in August 2018, with no job and no prospects, I contacted a church member that was a realtor and put my house up for private sale. I received three offers right away and moved in with my son and his family. Through all this, God never abandoned me and guided my every step. God went before me and prepared his plan for me. I know the Pates, and I asked Andrea, could she recommend a church that I could attend and belong to? Without hesitation, she told me about Stone Ridge Church. I immediately signed up for five small groups and started attending meetings. I was scared and feared being judged and rejected if I told them too much about myself. Little by little, I started sharing some of my story. What I found was acceptance, love, and friendship that I had lost. I was not judged or hated or rejected. I found myself driving home after the meetings crying and thanking God for never abandoning me and placing me in Yuma with mine like Christians. I give God all the glory for small groups and the important role they play in a church. I also inquired what else I could do to serve as a volunteer in the church. Through God's grace and love, I serve in the office with a kids ministry and counting team, guest services, VBS, help with the women's ministry events, serve on the prayer team, and anywhere else they need me. My faith in God sustains me and carries me through. He puts so much joy in my heart and lets me know everything is okay. I cannot imagine life without God. I would just encourage you that if you're not involved, to get involved. It's so rewarding.